Panzerkampf. Welcome back to Tank Wars, everyone. I am Chromoid, and this is the third match of this series. So let's get right into the introductions and then the fight. In the blue square, we have the Victoria Universalis Medium Armored Platoon, submitted by Magma8520. This team consists of five Humeron Medium Tanks in a very steampunky theme. And in the red square, we have the Hercules Squad, submitted by Twist Shock. This is another five tank team consisting of two A2 tanks, two B tanks, and one C tank. The tanks are in place, the battleground is set, let's get match 3 underway. Again, I had to spawn them all a little high because they were going underground when I spawned them at ground level. And it looks like Victoria Universalis' battalion will, will fire off first. A plume of missiles and some large caliber APS. Largely missing, hitting the spawn stick in the background. There we go. Their cannons aren't very effective. Let's see if their missiles are any better. As the very robotic looking Hercules skitter about. Oh, a missile connects with the top of a Hercules, knocking it almost completely over into its companion there. Oh my goodness. This is epic. They look like giant Roombas almost, with big muscular arms and cannons attached. I really, really dig this design. And it's steampunk versus ro the robot revolution. I, I just, this couldn't be more perfect. The medium armored uh, brigade is advancing on the villainous robots. The robots are finally responding with a flurry of shells. It seems like neither team is very, very accurate. Keep in mind that detection is not fully automatic for this uh, tournament, so uh, high quality detection is a very good perk to have. And it could be very well that these uh, these two tank these two entries don't have the best in detection. The, the gun seems to be really off here. It's got a secondary on top. It's got that primary on the bottom, and they're just they're just absolutely laying into these. There goes a, a primary. Oh, and point blank missiles into the uh, front of these tanks. It's going to be ugly. ERA armor does nothing to stop that. I don't know if they have heavy armor on the inside or not. I'm sure I'll cover that in my review. Okay, laser guided, meaning that these uh me these missiles have a much higher chance of hitting their target as long as the lasers stay on them and you know if the lasers miss then the the uh, missiles will miss too all right we've engaged in a melee brawl the hercules have finally gotten within spitting distance of the medium armored brigade and now it's just an all-out brawl look at this tanks everywhere that one over there seems to be really badly crippled there's one universalis tank on the very edge one of the humorons has gone out to deal with the the interloper on the outside there Boom, one of the heat shells goes straight into the side. The twist shocks seem to be suffering from the fact that their guns do not have, uh, they, they have turrets, but they're vertical turrets, they're not horizontal. If I'm not mistaken, I was told these were, uh, at one time they were anti-aircraft tanks that have been repurposed to, uh, fight in this tournament. So that could explain why they have no horizontal twist to them. They're just, uh, they have amazing elevation, but, and a really great aesthetic, but they, they can't, they have to rely on their really slow turning radius to get the uh, get their aim set right. Come on, get that gun up there. The the Universalis Brigade is just absolutely shredding them with this kinetic uh, fire. In fact, I think most of the work is being done by these uh, machine guns on top. The uh, oh dear, <laughs> friendly fire, friendly collision. The entire cannon, the entire barrel just exploded. Fortunately, the cannon will still work, but it just means that accuracy is significantly decreased for that cannon. The primaries on the uh, un on the uh, Universalis Brigade do not seem to do well. They do damage, but they don't seem to fire very frequently. It's these machine guns that really seem to do the damage. Oh, and a missile bounces off the terrain and misses its target. The steampunk tanks are rolling deep on these guys. Oh man! Thankfully, no one's gotten out of range yet. The battle rages on, but it looks like the Hercules squad is already limping and licking its wounds. They're not firing. These cannons aren't working. I don't know what's going on. They keep aiming downward. Come on, tanks. The cannons do work. They're aiming. 
they're just not firing. And I wonder if some of the previous shots have taken out their ability to, to load the cannons. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But this poor Hercules is getting absolutely shredded. There's a big old shell that just went to the top there. Looks like the uh, Humorons are firing large caliber uh, frag shells. There's a thumper frag missile coming in from one of the Humorons. That AI is very vulnerable right now. There's a big block of armor in front of it, but the sides might be a little weak if someone sneaks a shot through the side. And there it goes. All the cards just disappeared. One, two, three, four. Yes, one of the one of the um, Hercules was just decapitated. That was an AI core right there. It's repairing furiously, but I think it's AI dead. I think it's done. Nope, it's not. So it was all the cards were just taken out. So it now can no longer function, but it's not going to despawn due to being AI dead. The AI is still alive and well in there somewhere. You have to hit the core if you want to get an AI dead. And it looks like this Universalis tank is now getting ganged up on by the three remaining Hercules in the back. That one is being uh, absolutely punished. I don't see the other Hercules. Has one been despawned? I must have missed that. My bad. The missiles from the uh, Humeron seem to really do a lot of damage to these uh, Hercules tanks. Sorry about that. Notifications. And now no more notifications. And there goes a Hercules tank. That's the last of that one. And now the Hercules really need to pull out an amazing win here. They need to start taking out these Humerons very quickly. Or hope the Humerons take each other out with friendly fire and collision. Because as of right now, they are definitely... In the uh, on the losing side of the material score. If this goes the full 10 minutes, that means that the Hercules will be uh, the losers because they don't have all their tanks. Some of their materials are missing. Look at all these lasers. I think we all know who the uh, Humorons are aiming at next with their missiles. You can kind of follow the, the, the laser trail and see who, who's, who's going to get it. Oh, that one just took a missile for its brethren. Yes, this, this Hercules tank is just getting ripped to shreds. Ooh, that was a nice lucky blow. The, uh, the missiles, the proximity uh, fuses on them detonated them prematurely on the arm of that Hercules. The explosives hit this Hercules, but then the frag flew off in a tight cone to smash into the, the uh, their original target in the back here. Wow. Those machine guns are doing some work. It seems the Hercules just do not fire. Like, they fire every once in a blue moon. But they're doing no damage at all. The, the uh, Humeron tanks from the uh, Victoria Universalis Brigade have just had free reign this entire match. Thankfully, it stayed a very close fight, so I don't have to run around everywhere like a chicken with my head cut off. And there goes another Hercules tank as it crumbles into a pile of blocks and shattered hopes. Oh, and an arm goes blasting off the side of another Hercules. This is almost certainly a win for the Victoria Universalis team. They have dominated the Hercules tanks. Twist shock, I'm not sure what happened to your tanks, man. Well, I, I know what happened to your tanks. They met up with the uh, the might of Victoria Universalis, but I, I don't know why they, they didn't seem to do a whole lot of shooting. They just kind of waddled in there put up their guns and then didn't use them. So, I don't know, man. This one's firing. They seem to fire bursts. Oh, and another decapitation of this side turret. Both turrets blown off. That's all the guns gone on the Hercules. All that the Victoria Universalis team has to do now is just wear them down. They're very tanky. Uh, pun not pun intended there. Uh, but they, they, uh, they're, they're very, very sturdy. As I say that, one of them gets lifted up in the air by an ammo detonation. Very good, very good. Excellent. Thank you for illustrating my point, Hercules. <laughs> Down to 67%. The Universalis are, have all just ganged up on them now. They're just sitting there in a group. This one appears to be shooting through his friend here, which is not very helpful. You're winning. You don't need to... Oh my... Look at them. Look at that. Did you see that, uh, that missile thread the needle there between the chimney of the next tank? And... Boom. Yes, it's over, folks. It's it's beyond over. For less than a minute le remaining, and these Hercules are weaponless. There's only two of them left. They're being absolutely shredded by the Universalis team. In fact, the Universalis team is just now starting to hurt itself with all of its friendly fire. Thankfully, this one's still alive. It wasn't despawned. It just lost its turret. Not like it needs it or anything. Thanks, guys. They've all lost their turrets, except for this one. 
Oh well. The damage has been done. It's over at this point. We have 29 seconds remaining. And we have two very badly wounded Hercules tanks. Both turretless, both weaponless. They're just giant piles of blocks wandering around trying to make a brave last showing of it. 13 seconds remaining on the clock, gentlemen. Make the most of it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and the Universalis team certainly does. No more missiles streaming in. Another explosion on the back of that tank. Down to 62%. And... Stop the clock. Stop the game. Stop the match. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five Universalis tanks remaining. Only two of the Hercules remaining. That means that the winner is most definitely going to be the Victoria Universalis Medium Armored Brigade. So a huge congratulations to Magma8520 and his Victoria Universalis Medium Armored Brigade. You will be continuing on in the primary brackets. And to Twist Shock, my condolences man, your tanks will be going down to the secondaries to duke it out with the other people down there. I uh, wish you the best of luck in that, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.